Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone. Today we're gonna have a very exciting tutorial. It's about adding keys on screen. And well, this was a um, request of one of my subscribers. So let's just get into the game. Let me just tell you what I have. I have some sprites, which are the idle run and jump. Then I have sprite wall and I have a sprite called sprite button. It's nothing, it's just a letter B. Then I have, I have this sprite game pad, which is the most important thing. And it's a very simple game pad for the arrows and something like that. Well, you see it's in the center, the region are in the center and the size is 96 by 96. You can have your own. You can even sort this in a different ways. You can do whatever you want. You can choose whatever sprite you like. You might even don't like what I'm doing. And you can do whatever you want to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is... Let, let me just tell you what I have in the, uh, in the player. In the create event, is a very normal create event. Nothing special in the step event. It's just the keys, the collisions, the... Uh, what to do when you press these keys and the animation and which is extremely ordinary now what you want to do next and the object sorry object wall has nothing in the room itself the room zero I have nothing just the player himself some walls and the background and in the views well this is might be special in view zero I have uh, 450 and same on export on the ports and it's following object rig it has the horizontal border this numbers that you see on the screen well in this very particular project you can see that I have views if you don't have views don't use this method you can use this method, it's okay, it's okay, but there's a better method for games which has no movement. For, uh, the views are not moving, the view, view zero for example, or whatever view, is not moving, it's not following anyone, it's just stable. The room is stable, there is just one room and everything is visible inside the room. Uh, don't use this method. There is a better method. Method. I will explain that method in the next tutorial. You can. You just need to wait for that. But this cool method is for rooms which have views which are moving. You understand? Which are following a, a, an object. Now, next thing I want to do is you want to come to the object and create an object. I'll just name the object whatever I want. Let me just save um, objects keys. Okay, and I'll give it the sprite of the button. Okay, and I want to click OK, create another object, and give this the gamepad and call this object GP for gamepad. Now, what you want to do is you want to come to the rooms and choose the uh, object gamepad and place it wherever you want. Now, if I come here, let me just zoom. If I come to the views, you see, this is my views. You might have a different view borders. Don't, you should be smart. Please be smart. Use your brain. Sorry for saying this. Um, see, in the views, I'm selecting the object uh, gamepad. Now, I want to place it in a very good position now some of you might say uh, but why you are placing this here well because this view zero will move down when you are running the game everyone knows that let me just show you the game so you would know what I mean now when the game is running you see the view is on the object and the object is on the ground and if I press right and left the get uh, the player will be moving to the right and the left and the view is moving you understand inside the room the view uh, zero is moving and uh, he's following the player now um when i place this object here it will be moving with the view okay now 
where you want to place this um, let me just go back to the uh, to the game itself so you would see this see if I want to place it here okay so you see this is our view now if I want to place it here it will be here no the opposite if I want to place it here <laughs> you should place this here understand like something like this and this will be here okay and you can have another keys here for double jump or whatever now this is not important just pay attention to this now in this room I have this borders this um, uh, numbers you see on the screen now what you want to do you want to come to the object keys and you just have a create event and that's all what you need nothing else in the create event you want to write key jump now before I write key jump instead of wasting time you can come here okay and see what we have what which keys you we have we have key right key left crouch and key jump okay now if I copy key jump and you come here key jump equals okay now this is this is all what we are talking about. It's virtual, okay, key add, okay. What this is doing, it's creating a key, okay, on the screen. That's it. And the key on the screen is the same as if you are, if you are using a key on the keyboard. So if you are pressing the image on the screen, it will say key pressed. If you release the mouse button, it will say key released and so on. You understand? Now, what I want to do is I want to know where I should place these keys. Okay? So, for now, I will not say anything. I will just say X and Y and width and height and the uh, key itself, which is ORT. Okay? You might know, you must know which key you are using, of course. For example, if I'm using this key jump, I gave it this or let me just copy this instead of wasting time. You can come here and say or get lost. Now you see it's or W and that's it. The key is W. Okay? Now what you want to do next is you want to come to the uh, room itself, you want to go to the objects and add the object button inside the object button you want to come and select this button and move it right here okay a little bit somewhere here yes this is perfect now I want to create another object and place it right there and another one and place it right there another one and place it right here now everything is extremely perfect I see no problem now what you want to do is you want to right click on each object and for this you you must know that the origin of this sprite is 0 and 0 okay this is extremely important understood now you want to right click on the object itself and select change position we are not changing anything I just want to know what, what position this is this object is on which position now the position is 48 for the X coordinate and the Y is 144 so you click OK and you come here and write here 48 and 144 now if you come to the sprite itself you will see 32 per 32 and this is the width which is 32 and this is the height which is 32 you might have a different game pad a different sprite whatever you want to have you can have and you can set the number here according to the sprite that you have I hope that this is clear to you and you understood what I said now this is basically the size of the button, nothing special. Now what I want to do, I want to copy this and paste it for time, times. Now, 
The next thing I want to do, I want to change this to key left and this to key right and this to crouch. Well, I don't have any crouch animation in the in the player itself, but I'm just adding this this to show you what you can do. Now, what you want to do next is you want to change this, of course. Now, this will be A and this will be D and this will be S. This is extremely easy. Kids know what is this. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to come to the key left, which is this. Right click and choose change position and you would know that this is 16 and 176. So you would just write here 16 and 176. That's all what you need. Now, you would understand that this key right is 64 pixels after this dude right here. So this right would be 176. And this is 16 plus 64. This would be uh, 80. 80 or 70. 80. Yes. But if you don't know mathematics, it's okay, you can just come here and right click and you would see that this is 80 and this is the same number. Understood? Now, uh, key crouch is the same story, you would have the same number, 144, and this will be plus 64. You can come here and right click and see the number by yourself. And you want to change this to 208, that's it. You just add 64 pixels to the Y coordinate. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to click OK and delete this object. Object and you can keep one object. You must keep one object. Don't forget to keep one object inside the room. If you don't keep one object inside the room, this won't work. This will not work. Now, and you must have one object here. The uh, you, you must have the object uh, gamepad inside the room also. This is obvious. Now, if you come to the object GP and you want to add a, a draw event, draw GUI, and in this you want to write this very simple code, which is draw sprite, and in the sprite you want to uh, name the sprite itself, which is uh, sprite gamepad. Now, this sub image is a very cool thing. I want to explain this right now. If you have several images, now I don't have any images inside this, you see it's just one image, but in case if you have several images, like in the idol, I have several images. Now if I want to choose one of these images, for example, image four, you can just come here and write four in the sub images. And this is extremely cool. But in our case, I don't have an image, so it will be just zero. Next is the X and Y position. Now the X and Y position is obvious. And I hope that you know how to do this. <laughs> if you don't, you come to the object, the object GP. If you put the mouse over any object, it will show, show it right here. Now if I select this, it's showing me that it's object GP. Now I want to right click on this and I want to select change position and you will see that it's 64 by 192. Now what you want to do is you want to come to the object and in the GUI and right here 64 and 192. And you want to close the bracket and sorry that's all what you need to do. Now if I click OK and OK and OK to all these. Now, you cannot run this on Windows because this is having a virtual key and you you need to run this on HTML. So, I'll just run this on HTML and I'll show you how this looks like, how this looks like. Okay. Uh so uh this is uh, this is actually a browser. You, you don't pay attention to the browser. This is HTML. This is the border. If you run this on, on your device, Android, OS, or whatever, it will show the, just the border. This is HTML. Don't pay attention to this. Now, you see I have the game pad here. Wow. This is awesome. 
Now you see, if I click right, the dude would move to the right side, and left, he'll move to the left side, and so on. If I press jump, he'll jump, and everything is extremely perfect and amazing and just superb. This is marvelous, okay? And I don't have a crouch and crouch animation or whatever. And uh, you can do another cool thing. You can add another virtual keys here, and those would be a double jump or whatever. And I'll explain this in the next episode, and you would know everything about virtual keys. Now, this is all what I have to say in this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something today, and I'm sure that you learned something today. Well, guys, if you want to thank me, please just like the video, share it, or comment, or do whatever you want. Please subscribe if you, don't sub if you did not subscribe yet. It's not that difficult. You want to just press that button right there. Subscribe. You guys, enjoy watching this, and have a great day.